Welcome to another Japanese snacks video. I'm going to be bending the rules a little bit here. I'm going to be showing some uh, box toys, but they come with candy inside anyway, so I guess they still qualify. But first, I'm going to show you this. Ooh, yum. Uh, this is the, uh, the mochi covered ice cream. I, I think I showed that in like one of the very first Japanese snacks videos that I started uh, last year. But this one, this is the Yukimi Daifuku. This is brand new cookies and cream. So it's got like Oreo cookies and cream bits in there. Yummy. All right, let me show you some other cool stuff. These aren't really snacks per se, but whatever. Uh, Glico. I didn't know they made sausages. But, uh, yeah, so Glico's doing the whole Star Wars thing, as you saw in the last video. And here's uh, 3PO and R2, and here's Yoda with a lightsaber. S sausages. What? Yeah, so neat stuff. Are you scared of uh, cicadas? No. Really? Why? Because they were other loud. They're loud. Well, yeah, they make now loud noises. Anyhow, yum. Tamagotchi. Here are chocolate covered cookies with a little uh, white chocolate face. Pretty cute. See, they're so happy. Tamagotchi. Tama Picho. Nice. And more Tamagotchi. This is Tamagotchi Gummy Candy, Grape Flavored Gummy Candy. Yay. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Wow, I bet these get melty real easy, huh? That's why you put them in the fridge. Come on. Gersh. Come on, Gersh. Come on, Gersh. Here, here. All right, fine. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Thank you. So it looks like they all have the same face, huh? Mmm. Oh, there's the gummies. Mmm. I'm pretty cool. Oh, you can just peel them out. I get one, okay? I get, let me have the small one. Mm. Yay. There you go. Hell right. Here we have some more Snoopy stuff. Snoopy chocolate sandwich biscuits. I got these at Village Vanguard. They also had lemon and strawberry flavored ones. Maybe I should have gotten the lemon ones. I don't know. But uh, yeah, they look cute. And oops, oops. Okay. there we go. This is a little Snoopy bucket with cute peanuts characters. Yay. Isn't that nice? And on the inside... Jelly! Oh, that's pretty cool. I think uh, each one has a different picture on it. Isn't that cool? Was Bell. <laughs> That's cool. Oh. Well, this is a yeah, starting to repeat, I guess. But uh, yeah, pretty cool, huh? Snoopy jelly. Looks like they're all the same flavor. Orange or something. Anyhow, it's pretty cool. I went to Hobby on yesterday. I got a couple of neat things. 
This is Macross Frontier. Chocolate wafer with a card inside. that pertain to snacks videos, right? It's got gum. Got uh, landing gears. And I guess it goes underneath here. Yeah, I'm supposed to put these on apparently. Very cool. Very cool. Lock S foils into attack position. <laughs> Neat. This is. Ooh, red three standing by. <laughs> hmm. Here's another Macross Frontier. Okay. Different packaging. Different girl on the outside. And we have a different sticker. It's girls and they have boobies. That's, I guess, the point of the new Macross show. I don't know. That's not nice. Cheryl Nome and and Ranka Lee. It's their names, like I would know. Um, I don't know. I'll give this show a shot. I just haven't liked any Macross for quite a long time. There you go. For fans of the Japanese show Game Center CX which is otherwise known as Retro Game Master for uh, North American release. You may recognize these snacks. Um, Arino, the star of the show, who plays the old uh, retro video games. He usually snacks on stuff like this. This is squid on a stick. It's, uh... Yeah, it smells um, kind of vinegary. It's kind of pickled, I suppose to uh, preserve freshness, which means it's kind of sour. This is squid on a stick. And it's pretty nice. I mean, if you're repulsed by the idea, of course you won't enjoy it. 
but if you're open to it, it's um, it's, it's pretty nice. It's it's sour, but uh, once you get past the initial sourness, it's not bad. So I bought this at a snack store, and uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, so my lovely assistant and I did some kombini shopping tonight. Got my little uh. Hasane Miku bag. Isn't that cute? Got that at Family Mart. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take a look at what's inside here. First, this is on the discount. <clears throat> the discount table at Family Mart. Mm. Tropical Pocky. Mango and pineapple. Mango pineapple? Yes. Mango pineapple. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here we go. Dorayam, or I'm sorry, not Dorayam, <laughs> Anpanman Museum. Fruit, oh, wa wa World Collection. Okay, <laughs> World World Collection. Uh -huh. Alright, see what kind of, I think there should be like a candy in here. And a little, little figure. Wow. Look at this. You gonna grab it? Oh crap, there's, there's no candy in here. Oh man, I thought there was candy in here. What the hell, dude? Alright. Here, come here. I'll help you. Just rip it open. Ah, like that. So. Here we go. So I think, uh, Anpanman. There we go. Look at that. It's on fun, <laughs> mom, dude. Isn't that great? But there's no candy inside. What the hell? Alright. Okay. Hmm. This is Rakuma Wonderland. <gasps> cute. That is cute. Rakuma is everywhere. That's right. He cloned himself. He's gonna take over the world. He's got his own marching band. So it's not a blind box because you can see the number three. So I got the one with the tuba. That's gonna be pretty cute. Oh, bless you. Okay. So. Wow, this is pretty cool, man. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's hard and stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> what are you doing? Alright, this is. That's not a sticker. I thought that was a sticker. Oh, there he is. He's, he's got a tuba. Uh, Pama did not come with candy. That uh, is disappointing. But Rudakma came with candy, huh? Mmm. Look at that. He's... He's got a tuba. That's awesome. Candy. He's not candy, no. Mm. So he's got a tube on, he's going to pump, 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 pump. And, um, it's it does come with candy, though. <gasps> ramune! You want a ramune? You haven't brushed your teeth yet, right? Mm. Ramune is pretty good. Mmm. Okay, that's cool. Alright, what's next, dude? Mmm. Yum donuts. What's that? It's been uh, harvested from the donut tree when they're still really young before they fully ripen. Right? Do donuts come on trees? No. <laughs> no, they don't do that. They're called young donuts because they're little baby donuts, but they don't want to call them baby donuts. Because you shouldn't be feeding babies donuts. Right? Mm. And you shouldn't be feeding donuts babies either. Because that would be pretty weird if, like, donuts could eat babies. Alright, so. Felix gum. I don't know if I've had this on the videos or not, but. Ramune flavor. Gum. Yay. Okay. This is Common Rider Gummy. 
great flavor. It's got the 30% fruit juice in here. That's great. That's really cool. Okay. It's the new Kamen Rider. I like him. He's pretty cool looking. That uh, Forze looked like a grumpy bowling pin. Didn't really care for him. Alright. This is what you're looking forward to. What's her name? Makopi. Makopi. Or Mak... Yeah, Makopi. Okay. This is Pretty Cure. Doki Doki Pretty Cure. Yeah, we totally went to Family Mart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, so it comes with the ramen. Eh? Here she is. Yeah, it comes with ramen. We'll give that to my mom, okay? There she is. She's got a headset on for some reason. Maybe she's No, what the heck? Oh, here's her panties right here. There we go, see? And I will form the legs. There she is. Look at that. She's kind of pigeon toed. She's been sitting on the floor too much. Typical Japanese girl. And so it's got this little lovely stand. And then you put her on the stand here. Okay. <laughs> and there she stands. So, what's this girl's name? Kirahata. Cure, cure, cure heart. Okay, you're right. Her name is Cure Heart and Makopi, whatever Makopi stands for. Makopi. Makopi. Hello, Cure Heart. Hi, Makopi. What you doing? Stopping things. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. As you can see, these are not blind boxes. So, pretty cool. It's got all. Set of four. <laughs> My daughter has the complete set now. Yay. All four pre-cure girls. So, I went to Hobion. And... I had some uh, more blind boxes here. <laughs> I got... I got both of these, and it turns out that they're just the STS, uh, the ATST walkers, set of two. So I could have like an army of uh, six of these things, but oh well. I'm gonna give one to my friend. I just opened up these these boxes here, and I saw that they were not only. You know, the first one was not only one that I already had, but then the second one was this exact same thing, and I was just... No. That kind of sucked. Oh well. But this doesn't suck. Check this out. Okay, Gundam Stand Art. Now, I have one of these. I have, um... Uh, Zaku here. Let's uh, let's take a look at this. This is uh, Jim Three, which I believe is from what the Double Zeta Gundam, I think. I don't know if these made an appearance in Zeta. Uh, I can't remember. There was just so many Gundam, uh, you know, Jim suits. So let's open this up. Nope. It comes with bubble gum. Yay. And no assembly required. Uh, oh, sorry. No assembly required. Yeah. Cool. 
cool. Oh, I guess there's... You have to attach the hand or something. Let me show you the tape to the back here. So here they are. Slinky. There you go. There. Pretty darn cool. So yeah, obviously they're to scale with each other. So, Jim 3. Neat. With a piece of bubble gum. Yay. Nice booster on the back. Swell. Here's a close-up look. Neat. Mm. Also found at Hobion is Yum. This is Lotte Stitch Gum, strawberry flavor. Oh yay. Now wait. Chewing candy? It's not chewing gum, it's chewing candy. Odd. There's a bunch of crappy Disney characters. Well, that stitch is okay though. Here's some neat Halloween stuff. But, uh, let me show you this first here. Gundam Converge, ooh. I don't know if that how the lights the eyes light up or not? I don't know. It would appear that is the case. And it comes with gum. It says right here it's uh, soda flavored gum. Yay. Which is basically ramen flavored gum. Oh look, a cute little uh, core fighter. That's, that's sweet. Let's open this up, dude. And it is, oh, it's like an alternate dark blue F91. Oh, whatever. I guess that's the block. And here is the gum. Get out. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so... Get the scissors going here. Stuffing things. Oh yeah. Dude. And uh, let me think here. This will go on like this. Pretty cool. Here it is. Snazzy. Beautiful. Here, this guy. Alien. Gotcha palm is pretty cool, huh? Let's move Mr. TIE Fighter out of the way. Alright, so. Look at this. Caramel corn. 
Halloween. October is Halloween, obviously. And uh, unlike my last, the first time I was in Japan, there's a lot of Halloween stuff. It's really blossomed in popularity in Japan. So that's changed. This is the first time I was in Japan. Um, I moved back to America like 12 years ago or so. Or, um, yeah. Mmm. So, just in time for fall, Maron Aji. Maron is a uh, Kri, or, um, what's that in English? Chestnut. Chestnut flavored Tohato caramel corn. Yum. Mmm. Yummy. Also super yummy is Kit Kat. Pumpkin flavored Kit Kat. Um, the bag of pumpkins said... Mm, pumpkin pudding, Haji. Look at that. That's, that's pretty spectacular. I can't remember if I put this in a video last year or not. But this is what it looks like. Mmm. Pretty fantastic. And lastly, <clears throat> Koala March chocolate. <laughs> Halloween themed. Enjoy Halloween, or else. <coughs> Cute little characters. And look, it comes with an eye mask. Be the head of the party. Cut this out. Tie a string around your head. And look awesome. <coughs> they cute little ghosts. That's adorable. So Halloween. Custard and whipped cream. This is uh, shoe cream. As they say in Japan. Or The first time I heard that I'm like, shoe cream? What the hell? Cream you rub on your shoes? Or, you know, what the hell? It's a pâté chou. Uh, you know, from French class I learned that. So, oh, okay. It's, uh, they, they call it shoe cream, though. It's just a cream puff. So, mm, yummy. Custard and whipped cream, as you can see. Mmm. So, all dressed up for Halloween. Neat, huh? Yeah. Even Curl, also known as Cod, has nice Halloween packaging. Look at the cute frog. Isn't that nice? So this is just regular cheese flavor. There's no special flavors or anything. It's just uh, decorated up for Halloween. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, it's uh, oh. got a little game on the back there. I never understood how those little UPC things work with K ties when you take pictures of them. Um, I just don't have a fancy phone. Anyhow, neat stuff. Halloween marshmallows by Ewa, apparently. So, kind of cute. This is a uh, pumpkin marshmallow. So. You pull them out here, and it's vaguely pumpkin-shaped, although it kind of looks more like garlic. <laughs> Very soft. Super soft. Um, it's okay. I mean, that's not the best, but compared to American marshmallows, it's pretty awesome. Um, I've had better, but, you know, it's, it's okay. I, I guess I could taste the pumpkin. So, I put that back in the bag. So now I'm really breaking the rules here. <clears throat> I'm living on the edge. Um, cutting my toenails before I take a shower instead of afterwards. Here is um, Hanafuda. Now I got this at the convenience store. This is not a snack at all. So, like I said, I'm kind of doing my own thing here. Anyhow, it's made by Nintendo. Bit of a history for you. This company called Nintendo actually 
began as a uh, Hanafuda company. They made Hanafuda cards. And then later they got into the video game business. So yeah, originally they made these uh, these playing cards. So they open this up. Uh, sorry. Kinda there. I'm not really corded right now. I've had some Makori and whiskey with coke tonight. <laughs> oh well. This is a uh, Chio Sakura. I don't know what the difference is, but that's what it says here. And how do I open this? Pull, pull the tabs here. Okay. Pardon me, I don't have any motor skills at the moment. Head is a little bit swimming right now. Oh geez, I almost spilled them all here. Alright, so crap. I dropped a few. This is Hanafuda. This is like a like a kid's card game. This is not necessary. Alright, so it's got the instructions here if you read Japanese. Hanafuda is actually the first time I played Hanafuda, I was um it was in the the Sakura Tyson game for the um, uh, Sakura Tyson game for the Sega Saturn. So what you do is you match cards. Like I think, like these go together because of the. the oh, sorry about that. Because of the patterns, you see these little pointy things. Here you got like the the different flowers that match up. So it's like a like a matching game. Um, each of these cards, I'm sorry, these are like really slippery here. Each of these cards, oops, <laughs> sorry. All right, a note to myself. Uh, don't make these videos after you've been drinking. Yeah, you know, each of these cards are uh, kind of, kind of hard here. So yeah, definitely stiff cards. So you can see here how these go together in suits. So, you kind of match them by flowers. It's pretty cool. Maybe if somebody's interested, I can maybe do a video. Uh, I'm sure somebody's already probably done videos on how to play Hanafuda. But yeah, this is how Nintendo got its start. Um, I think Sega got started doing Pachinko. I think it was originally an American game, uh, an, Amer an American company that started in Japan, and I think they were doing. Um, uh, they were making pachinko games, but uh, anyhow, Nintendo. This is the the beginning. So even after all the all these years, they still make these Hanafuda cards. I picked this this thing up here, this box, for like a thousand yen or so at uh, 7-Eleven. So neat stuff. Anyhow, um, this video's probably gone on long enough, so I'll end it here. So, thanks again for watching Japanese Snacks. Bye. By the way, here you have the actual kanji for Nintendo. Nintendo. Nyoha.